I'll start off by saying that I'm a good student and I work really hard and I'm involved in too many things. I have several on-campus jobs like I'm a chapel tech and I work for the Phonathon for example and I also um, work at the Boys and Girls Club in a mentoring ministry and uh, a wide variety of other things. But I have an illness that has kept me on crutches for two and a half years. And the tricky thing about my chronic illness is that I don't know what it is. I don't know what it, how long it's going to last. I don't know what I can do about it. I do know that I go to Boston twice a month. I go to see my primary care physician more than once a week. I switch my medication constantly. I, all I know is that my legs don't function properly. They're weak. I'm sore often. The weather is constantly changing, which makes me in more or less pain. It just depends. Some days are good, some days are not. I can't go and run and jump and climb trees like you know everyone else. I can't um, you know haul open those heavy doors, and I, I I just can't do it. And I found that my only saving grace was the fact that I walked around on crutches. If I didn't have that sort of visual indication that I had a disability then people tended just to uh, shy away from th the fact that I was struggling with various issues. I was changing medications almost weekly which comes with various side effects and, and all of that fun stuff I suppose and so I had just constant changes while I was trying to maintain status quo with classes and everything I need, and, and I really don't want to stand up with a microphone and say I need this give me this <laughs> it's 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 a lot harder to ask for help than people may yeah. think because and I was so stubborn and I had to be pushed by various <laughs> teachers of mine to actually go to the academic support center because I had this misconception that well I don't really have a learning disability I don't need to go there I, I got a 3.91 last semester, why would I go to the Academic Support Center? But it, when I went there, I realized it wasn't about that at all. It was about having an advocate for me, knowing that I did have strengths, I did have something to offer, I just needed someone to understand where I needed help. And for me, uh, I needed help having professors understand that I couldn't guarantee that I would be able to suspend my illness for a certain hour on a certain day for a certain test. I just couldn't promise that. And it wasn't because I wanted more time to study. It wasn't because I wanted a better grade. It was just because I, I couldn't promise that. And the Academic Support Center just did an excellent job in helping people to understand that without making me seem like a victim that couldn't do anything for myself. They just said, look, this is how she is, but she has this much to offer, and she'd like to do that, and please help her to find a way to do that. And, and as a result, um, I successfully completed last semester, and I can say that I'm enrolled for the fall, and I'll be able to be rested and ready to go um, without feeling like um, the whole administration is against me because I'm sick. There are people that go to the Academic Support Center that have so many gifts that get overlooked from um, their weaknesses. And I just hope that those weaknesses um, are taken in a way that they're not overshadowing the person that has the weakness.